It is day two of our trip and it is hotter than the devil's draws outside. Studios in Orlando. I know you thought that we were gonna stay in Chicago for a while. We did, but of course, you know the only other thing we can do is sneak out during the summer. But wait, 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 wait. Why am I doing the intro today? You know who should be doing the intro today? Me! <laughs> it's my birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> It's my birthday. It's your and birthday. And I feel like a million bucks. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's my birthday. It's his birthday. Yeah, it's, it's like, my birthday. Guys. And she's gonna buy me all the souvenirs known to man. I'm so excited. That's okay, she's want. gonna buy me budget souvenirs. <laughs> so uh yeah, that's what we're doing. That's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I may cover a few meals, I might give them a little some some little sprinkles here and there, you know, make it rain at the tribute store. I'm just happy to be here. I but, just have to be here. Exactly. And so in honor of Carl, I stole all of his shirts and I've worn a shirt every day. First of all, I couldn't fit them anymore because I accidentally dried them out. So <laughs> they shrunk. So hence, there you go. Carl they became shirt. her shirts. Exactly. So every day I'm going to wear a Carl shirt. Exactly. And if you're in a relationship, you know that happens. <laughs> my shirt is her shirt and her shirt is her shirt. It's my shirt, of course. If you could fit my shirt, we have a misunderstanding. So, off to what? Revenge of the Mummy and to go get some more food. Yes, because guys, I had a mimosa today. It was so good. And she's feeling bubbly. I'm feeling it all. Let's go. <laughs> you can expect from the crowds that it's going to be packed this summer. So far, it's not bad. Ride times is ranging around 40 to 50 minutes. I think Revenge of the Mummy was, uh, the mummy ride. Wait, is it called Revenge, Revenge of the Mummy? Revenge of, oh, it's been a while since I've been here. Yeah, excuse, <laughs> excuse, excuse me. Green guys shot up from 30 minutes to 50 minutes. Jimmy Fallon, 45 minutes. And yeah, so we just gonna take it nice and slow. Probably get on one or two rides before we have to hit the express after four. Yeah, so it is nice out today. Okay. It was raining this morning, but it calmed down, but the heat is starting to heat up. Just got off Revenge of the Mummy, and that is definitely the best ride over here in studios. I think it's beating Green Guys, but I just find it hilarious. He went through his teeth. I just find it hilarious, and I'm not lying. <laughs> I just find it hilarious that it was a, a group of uh, kids with their uh, with the camp staff, counselors. Yeah, camp yeah. counselors. How does a camp counselor scream louder than the children? I mean, she was like, she was about to have a stroke on this ride. I just love to see that everyone is enjoying themselves. It's not in it still is getting a little bit busy, but I'm having a good time. What about you? I am like for our first ride of the birthday trip, I would say that this kicked it off well. We rode in the front row for the first time. And I have to say that is a must do. It was amazing. Yes, yes, that's I my favorite row. That's my favorite row, first row. It's my favorite. favorite. Yeah. yeah. Everybody knows you have a favorite row on every ride. Absolutely. Green Gods is the first cart, last row. First cart, last row. This one, first cart, first, first row. row. It's only one cart. They get the gist of it. They get the gist of it. <laughs> Last year at HHN, I lost my cup. <laughs> so I love the cup that has this little flippy top. And so give you the look around, give you the rundown. This is the cup of the summer. This is the cup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't lose this one. I'm not. 
because you know how hard and how long I had to wait to get a cup that had the little flippity flop <laughs> like this as opposed and to the twist off this, this situation has this situation that's my straw you gonna have to buy your own straw <laughs> they're from Amazon straw not included <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm so excited that my cup is back Carl had his ultimate I informed you thusly moment last year which I did and he will not get that from because me she again. lost her she she lost her cup in the haunted house I think I lost it in darkest deal the best house of last year I mean you know R.I.P. Cuppy I hope you have fun in the HHN house for the rest of the year because I don't know when they picked you up and got you out <laughs> Do the honor. I'm just kidding. Wait, should I have took out the wipes first too? It's no, it's fine. Now. It's too late now. You can always get the wipes. Look, we got it right, you right know, in your bag. Oops. You know what it smell like? What it smell like? A little Caesar's pizza. Cheese pool. That's that. Oh, that's a good cheese pool mm -hmm, too. Okay. Now, one of our favorite content creators, Ordinary Adventure, said that this was probably the best theme park pizza that they had. So, does it live up to that? Does it live up to that? This Again, is good. theme park pizza, best theme park pizza. Not pizza. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it is shockingly good. Like, let me get another bite. Because, like, that was mostly just crust and cheesy. You gotta get a little bit of that pepperoni. You just devoured it. You are a true carnivore, the apex predator. Oh, yeah. It's really good. It's really good. It's good. So what would you give it? The tomato sauce is very robust. Okay. I still didn't get a pepperoni. The crust was really good. And the cheese itself was nice and gooey. And Y'all know how we feel about basil. I was a this is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all know how I feel about basil on pizza. It's a must. It's so good. That's all we get on pizza when we back at home in Chicago. Yes, it's so good. It just sets it off. So that'll be a five jazzies. Five jazzies. Now let's see if it gets a five chubs. Excuse me. Don't mind if I do. I'm going the other way. <laughs> mm hmm It's fresh. Now, I will have to give it a four. Why four? Because I wish that the crust was like a little bit more... You want to be tartar? Like, not tar not tartar, just not, like a little bit more crusty. That's what I'm saying. It's a little bit more crusty. Like hard. Like you want to be yeah, hard. like a little bit harder. Harder. Yeah, yeah, you can say that, but it's definitely doughy, but not too doughy. The um, it is very robust in terms of the tomato, but it's a solid. It's a solid four. This is probably the best though theme park pizza. theme park pizza that we've had. Like this is this is really good. Yeah, we're gonna have to make it over to Louis so we can give you like a, a true true comparison of the like the two in the park mm -hmm. also they do also have the brick oven pizza and minions too so should we go oh there yeah that's too? true honestly this reminds me of that this reminds me of the minions pizza you got the minions pizza yeah remember i had us uh some of my nephews when we came for uh oh. that little trip uh here yeah yeah but this is really really good you Give might well just go ahead and just break that in half because it looked like it won't fall yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, yeah. Now, which no. side do you think I deserve? The smaller side. I don't appreciate this activity. <laughs> Look, I can't believe that you fixed your... Dione, I know you see this. I'm about to break out my inner Dolores on this man. <laughs> Come on, put it down. That is not your side of pizza. You don't get the bigger half. I'm the man, I get the bigger half. <laughs> if you do anything to me that's on film, it's your birthday. I'm gonna let you have it today. Thank you.
quick we're gonna have to like eat this really fast because it is hot and this is gonna melt in like 2.5 seconds so one second please i mean the amount of extra crispiness that it is outside my fan is doing wonders this man carl is sweating i think i'm sweating you think i think i'm hot yeah, this pop isn't working benny i'm baking like a toasted cheeser it's so hot here hey. We well, want to follow the directions, but you don't want to follow the directions. Y'all, this thing is hard to open. It is. Oh, I think I got it. Okay. Cooking with grease. Oh my God. And then, voila! Oh, please don't, please don't break on me. Please do not break on me. Okay. I'm nervous. Girl, I'm nervous. Y'all, look ah, at this. Ah, look, this is like ooh. the ultimate peel right here. Oh, okay. Oh, first review. <laughs> Why you have the camera at a tilt? First review. He done bit into it. He said, skip what it looked like. You munch. Oh, that, that, is, that is a sour, that's very sour apple. I love it. That's good. All right. So, how many chubbies? Twelve. Twelve chubbies? Cause it's, cause okay, five. It, no, honestly, the apple is a little overbearing. Just maybe a little bit. I give it a solid four. It's still a good choice. I give it a solid four. I would say it's like it's definitely like a little like sour. So a little sweet and a little sweet. And I do like sour stuff. But like that apple flavor is what's really kind of throwing me off saying that like I'm not really like a true apple flavoring fan. So I would have to have to give it a three jazzy. That's fair. I mean, plus you are allergic to real apples. I am allergic to real apples. But like even then, like this is still very cool, nice, refreshing on this extra crispy day. Extra crispy. It's not extra crispy, it's a heater. <laughs> heater <laughs> all right so i'm gonna get our next snack queued up while carl finishes this hold on i'm almost done Ooh. it's like the mud pudding situation so i'm thinking it's supposed to be like a dirt pudding type deal i see that it has cake a little crumbs on top a little worm it's definitely giving shrek at the swamp and of course i have a Shovel. Worm. Worm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was good. Good quality worm. You can't mess up a candy. That seems Ooh. pretty hard right here. That was. That's that's tough. And to be honest, it smells like it smells like cake. Like a bun. Hmm. It's too rich for you. Hmm. So it's definitely super chocolatey. Um, the top layer almost looks as if it's a brownie, but it's definitely not. And I think I'm gonna really dig into this. I'm, I'm giving this a four out of five chance. Okay. Me next. Okay, me next. Me next. No! Forgive. I give it a. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I love flavors that's like rich in chocolate mm -hmm. and this definitely gets a solid, you know, four out of five. Uh, I wish it was maybe like a little bit more of like a peanut butter in it. I, don't I would like a peanut, peanut butter. butter in it. It's I, not peanut butter. You know what? Peanut. I stand corrected. I'm sorry. This does not have peanut butter in it. This just has strictly chocolate in it, but with a like, I think a little bit of uh, vanilla uh, cake into it, if I'm not mistaken. It's definitely like a little vanilla cake. Yeah. But you know and what? Some, I would think. I think this this will be. I think this will be a five if it had like a little bit of peanut butter in it. 
Like a Reese's. I think that if it had more chocolate pudding, that would make it for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's also what I want. Yeah, so it doesn't get as gadoosh, but it's still pretty solid. It gets a little something, something. So let's yeah. go ahead and finish this up. We'll check back in with you in a few minutes. Summer Tribute Store is Chef Kiss. Super dope. It's based mainly off of all of the movies inside the mega movie parade that they have. It's so many advertisements about this parade around this, <laughs> this movie store. It's hilarious. I love how it gives that classic movie store theme and smell. Like, if you've ever been to Blockbuster, Hollywood Studios, excuse me kids, if this is before your time, I just dated myself. Very bad. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> but it's nostalgic. And I know, just speaking for me, because I know Carl is in here like, speaking for me, I love it. Why? <laughs> he wanted to lick me, I just let me <laughs> let him. <laughs> I wish we came earlier so we could have merch. Just a hat. That's a twenty one year old section in up. Yeah, but what's what's that thing down there? I don't know. Let's take a deep dive in there. Excuse me. What's in here? Ooh, okay. Why are you submitting kids to the 21-up section? Hey, look, he says get out. <laughs> he, he said get out right now. He's like, I'm not playing with you. Get out right now. You are you are too young to be back here. Ooh. This is so cool. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is really cool. Like, how did they pump the smells in here like that? It smells like so authentic. Oh my God. I want to live here. I, yeah, I'm, yeah, they, they, this, this is where I live now. Goodness gracious. This is so cool. This is cool. Yeah, I pushed the start button. It does, it's only for display, it doesn't work. It does work. It's not like you, you can put a coin slot in it. Look, it don't even have a jump button. It has no jump button. It has that button. See look, it's not, see look, insert player, insert coin, but there's no place where you can insert a coin. So yeah, just display, but I like this. This is really cool. Do you see the Halloween Horror Nights? Oh, let's see what we have here. We got Frankenstein. We have Wolfman. And of course, last but not least, Dracula. Or as they say, D Dracula. Dracula. You Romanian? I, I drink your blood. Babe. What? Can you give me a bubble on? How much is it? Wait, it's my birthday. I'm the one who's supposed to get the souvenir. How dare you? I caught you on camera. See, I mean, look, you told on yourself. You told on yourself. I, I mean, I tried one time at least. I think these are going for what thirty? I don't know. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find. It. Get out of here. How much is? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have the price on it. Oh, I still can't. I think you have to open it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's There's see. I have no. I, this is one of the times you yeah. wish it was at Target and you could just yeah. like scan it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't open that. I believe it's thirty. 
the, the price was <laughs> the price was tucked away in the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. It's thirty dollars. And we and we did all that fighting over who's gonna open and flip the thing. You couldn't even open it. You neither could you. Forget you. You know what? Oh wow. This is incredible. I would definitely wear this for Halloween. This don't come in my size. It don't. <laughs> <laughs> and this for shy old $90. Imagine if you lost the bet and I had to tell you, you had to wear something like this, as hot as this for Halloween or nights. You know what happened last year. She sweated through her shirt. <laughs> Through all my clothes. <laughs> we interrupt this program for an important news announcement. So I see that you finna be sweating bullets. Yeah. Cause what just happened? Look, literally as I stand and breathe, we're in the freaking parks. I told Carl that we probably should go over to the five and dime to see what, what's gonna drop. And they just dropped Insidious in the further as an HHN house for this year? Oh, I'm screwed. I already feel myself peeing on myself in this house. <laughs> like, this is not okay. This is why we said earlier, they sell the draws. <laughs> they sell the draws for me. <laughs> for me. <laughs> That's who they for, it's for me. Birthday is off to a phenomenal start. As we said before, because they just dropped another house and that house is Insidious. She, if you watch the movie, Oh, so we're walking into Five and Dine and look what we see right here. Yep, it's official. We knew it was coming, but it is official. Insidious, the further. Uh, yeah, yeah, babe, you are, oh my goodness. This is going to be the scariest house of this year. HHN is bringing it this year. This is so, this is so cool. Oh my God, this is so cool. So I guess I gotta watch this movie, huh? So here we are, walking down HHN path. And of course, they have the, what do they call these? Trust structures. The trust, the trusses. So they have the trusses up for when they get ready to make this into the scare zone. What was the scare zone called last year again? Uh, the Jungle of Doom, was it the Jungle of Doom? I think it was the Jungle of Doom. So. You don't mind, dude. <laughs> I was like, what was it? Nah, you were totally cool. Um, it was like Expedition something Jungle of Doom. Yeah, something, something like that. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. But chronologically in the Dr. Oddfellow story, it was technically the first one because that's when he first finds the skull that's on. Oh, his right, right, right. Because I think one of the uh, facade, the biggest facade was like right here. Right here. And so that was when he found the skull. Look, yeah. Look, drop it, drop here. <laughs> <laughs> we did get B roll footage yeah, of that. You could. Take it away. So our new friend Mike told us that it was called the Expedition Jungle of Doom. I don't know why. It blinked. We, we had a brain fart. It, it, it just went away so fast. But. I'm super excited to see what they put in that zone this year Yes. and how they continue to grow the whole HHN experience. So hopefully Universal, you see this and you think about us. Think about us. Think just about a little bit, just a little bit. Just think about us. <laughs> Wrong note. Next to a creature of the 
from the Black Lagoon. She had one job and she botched one, it. I had one job and I felt cut 